We're pretty much facing a new reality, which is a complete change in all of our plans. We really tried to make it possible. That's why I painted the boat by myself. The objective of this boat is to be off grid. Okay, can we go? I think that's it for out here. Yeah? That is a safety hazard. Terrible. <laughs> we hate it. <laughs> we are Brett and Jade Evans. We decided to go for our dreams and purchase the direct sailboat. We're working hard to restore it and to document the journey with new episodes every week. Subscribe and join us on our greatest expedition yet. Before we dive into the video, we have a very exciting sponsor this week. Amaze reached out to us with this opportunity and is awesome because every donation supports First Descents. First Descents is a charity in the United States that supports life-changing outdoor adventures for young adults impacted by cancer and other serious health conditions. We're strong believers in the power of getting outside, which makes this partnership even better. Donating $10 enters you for the chance to win one of the coolest overlanding vehicles I've ever seen. Jade and I plan to build our own overlander one day, and we've definitely taken notes from looking at this one. The Earth Cruiser Terra Nova is based on a Ford F-350 chassis with a 7.3 liter diesel, and they've designed the rig to go anywhere and be off-grid for a long time. Some of the features include a 16,500 pound worn winch, a rear bumper mount with recovery gear, a camper pop-up, sleeping for four, flexible solar panels, water purification system, composting toilet, 110 volt induction cooktop and water heater, and an isotherm fridge. And if supporting first ascents, and the Earth Cruiser Terra Nova wasn't enough, Omaze is throwing in $20,000 of cash to the winner. Go check it all out and enter for your chance to win by clicking our link below, omaze.com slash expedition Evans. We have filmed this vlog, I think four times today. We've been meaning to make this vlog for forever, but honestly, we've been really bummed. Pretty much facing a new reality, which is a complete change in all of our plans. So I'm just gonna keep it really brief, really short. Are we starting over from the beginning? From the beginning. Oh, Our mast was supposed to get stepped three months ago. That's why I painted the boat by myself and all yes. those things. We had a deadline and I was making sure that we met it. Jade pulled it off. I mean, huge kudos to her and we could have gone, but. We didn't have a mast. It's now January. The North Atlantic in January is not a very good time to be testing out your gigantic, newly repaired salvage sailboat on the open ocean. We really tried to make it possible. We asked every sailor, we read we, every form, trying to find just at least one person with yeah, confirmation bias. Yeah, we couldn't find anybody that said it was a good idea. Our surveyor said it was borderline ludicrous. Yeah, so, that was a big nail in the coffin yeah. for our plans. By the time you see these upcoming videos, it's gonna be really close to real time because what's going to happen next is we're hauling the boat out. We're gonna go back to Arizona to visit family for several months and we are going to come back and get back into project life, upgrading the boat to make it the boat that we have been dreaming of, but we weren't the boat going- that no, we really, been dreaming No, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, because no, because before we were gonna sail south, sail it for about a year. We wanted to live on it first, so we would know, you know, this is how much electricity we're using. This is how the layout feels, those kinds of things before we made any permanent changes to the boat. Now that we know that we're not getting south, we've decided to just flip those. We're just gonna have to hope that we get it right. And then we'll sail south or around. So, so for those of you who are here because you love that it's a project channel, you are in luck because we have a lot of projects. The universe has conspired <laughs> and we are here we're in project mode again, which is Yep, so we have an entire really list exciting. about all the things we would need to do, all the things we want to do to the boat. It's a really big list, but we realized that if we lived in a house, like if you were, uh, you probably live in a house, and you made a list of all of the things, every even the tiny little things of all the things that you either need to fix or want to do to the house, you should a wish list. It would be a really big list. We're gonna start at the front of the boat and work our way back, but we're gonna do that after we go warm up because my hands are freezing because mine are not in my pockets. And my Peace. ears are freezing because mine are not in a beanie. <sighs> if we really need to figure this whole winter thing out. <laughs> Come on, you guys, let's go. A lot of the products we're gonna talk about today are actually gonna be happening in real time once this video is live. Pretty or, close to pretty it. Pretty close, or yeah. in the coming weeks. Yeah. Uh, so. So if you have input, please input your input. We are going to let you know what our hopes and dreams are and the things that need to get done right now. It's, and it's snowing, it's so blizzarding. let's do this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome to the winter wonderland. Okay. Here's our exterior list. I have a whole other page of interior list and it's snowing a lot. So let's do this quickly. 
Wow, do you want to do want to do or need to do? Let's start with the needs. Replace the latch on the anchor locker. Clean the windlass ground. Service the roller furlers, main and jib. Reinforce all of the cleats because they don't have any backing plates at all. We need... Yeah, they're surprisingly not very strong. They're really, yeah, they just have like fender washers. We only have one anchor. We definitely need more than one anchor. We need to buff all of the boat. It is dirty and it still has the tape line. Yeah, we should probably start with getting the rest of the blue tape off. We need to clean the sail locker. Our solar vent fans don't work. Reinforce all of our stanchions. They also don't have very good backing plates. We need to service everything. So we need to service the furthers. We need to service the tracks, the traveler. Okay, moving back. We need to <laughs> fix this guy, the stern rail. It looks like it got pushed forward somehow. Mm, probably when they wrapped it one year. Probably. I've seen that happen to other that, boats. Yeah, I don't know. But you can actually see it rotated Forward. right there. We want to put in jack lines and probably netting. I really would like to make us have solid stainless. Okay, now we're moving on to the want list. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Of the <laughs> that was the need list. Want list. First one. I would like to <laughs> have a solid stainless instead of this. What's it called? Life? It wouldn't be a lifeline. Yeah, I, really? so I think the MLs have that. So if anyone has done that on a Beneto, show us. The physics of it would work a lot better as far as being strong and safe and you know, it's a lifeline. So okay. let's not fall overboard. So we got that. We want to refinish the tow rail. Uh, we want to clean and buff the mast and boom. We need to increase our sail inventory. We want to redo the bootstripe, replace the loud hailer that got- <laughs> I just got a snowflake in my eyeball. We need to build a solar arch and dinghy dave it. We need to- Wait, a dinghy. let's pause there. That's an exciting thing. One of the biggest things, when <laughs> our biggest goal with all of the upgrades and changes that we want to do to the boat is that we want to get it off grid ready so that we are able to just go out and be out and stay out. The biggest thing I think when you think of an off grid setup is solar panels. Yeah, electricity is the biggest need. We're going to do an awesome water. solar panel setup. I have lots of big plans. We want a wind vane, solar arch, Dean David, solar panels. Nobody wants to just hear a list. Yeah, they we do. Talk about it. Okay. You're just cold. My, yeah, my hands are freezing. No, I'm the one holding the camera out in the wind. My hand's talking time. with it. I'm talking with my hand. <laughs> Your poor talking hand. I'm really excited for the solar panel setup because I want it to be an all inclusive unit. It's going to be the solar panel arch and the dinghy David. And I also have this idea for including a way where we can store some paddle boards up there. So stay tuned. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I've got it all drawn out. It's going to be awesome. If it's actually feasible, I need to consult some engineers. So uh, yeah, that's on the list. If you're an engineer, list. weigh in. If you're an engineer, <laughs> send me an email. <laughs> okay, can we go? I think that's it for out here. Yeah, this yeah. is pretty fun though. It is. It's actually beautiful. The biggest priority and the most important thing with all of the changes we want to make to the outside of the boat are safety focused changes. Making sure that when we are sailing and crossing oceans that we will be super safe and super confident in the boat. A lot of the things that we are going to prioritize doing first are those safety related ones. Those are the needs. Those are the needs. And we're going to start with those. All of the wants will happen later if we have a little bit more time before it's time to keep sailing. Start sailing really. <laughs> On the need want-ish list is this doesn't work anymore. I think that's a want. Nobody needs electricity. I know. <laughs> you want to refinish those companionway doors. I actually want to switch out the locking mechanism. It doesn't work the greatest, so I want to make something that's a little bit more secure and a little bit easier to open. Oh, and I want a little potted plant garden <laughs> under the dog that's a, that's a need for sure. Well, you know, I need cilantro. You do need so. <laughs> okay, what else in here? You have big things in here. I do? Yeah. Well, needs and wants. Needs, we need to service everything. We need to service our winches and we need to service our... Clutches. Clutches. I can never remember what these are called. Clutches. We need to service Just remember, you're a girl, so you have a clutch. Because you drive a stick shift. <laughs> winches. Clutches need to be serviced. I can't hear myself over the sound of the hood rubbing against my ears. I want to refinish all of the teak. I want to clean in here really, really well. I Wait, sorry, what? Are you too busy looking at the teak? Yeah. I want to clean everything really well. It's super dirty still. And I want to figure out some sort of better line management system, like a bag or a basket or something. I don't know line management. Can you guys help us out with that one? Neither of us really like the cockpit table. It's super stained. We might be able to get some of the stains out, but I just feel like 
I don't like it. This video is like needs and wants. There's things that I would totally be happy to live with. This is like- Oh yeah, replacing this is very much just a want. It works fine. Again, we're, we made the complete like dream list. If you were to make, change everything to make it ideal. Yeah. I don't think they can hear you over the geese and flying overhead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh down there. A hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> Some stragglers over there. I'm planning to replace all the icing glass. This stuff is pretty foggy. Yeah. Unless I can figure out a way to clean it up, but just well, in general, a lot of, of it ones. is cracked. So I definitely yeah. have to replace some of the panels, but then if I'm gonna have some that are super clear, I think that would drive me crazy. I want to fix this throttle right here because it sometimes runs into the helm right there. Reminds me. Oh, this is a need. We need new winch handles. When you turn it, it actually hits. Because it locks. So you have to get it exactly right. But if you're in a situation where you quickly need to be changing lines and stuff, that is a safety hazard. We need to get this fixed. New helm covers and covers for the helm covers. Do you guys know the right word for the leather that's covering the helms? We think it would be really rad to get new electronics. This is really outdated, but that is one of those things that we might do if we get a sponsorship. So if you are an electronics company, like Garmin or somebody, and you want to give us a call. Yeah. Uh, you don't have her number, but send us an email. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, we're going to add a grill. So we're thinking just putting like a grill, like on the stern rail, either here or here. For all the fish that we're going to catch later. Because we love barbecued fish. It's definitely the preferred method of cooking fish. Some sort of better lazarette organization system. Yeah, it works for now being at the dock, but that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. I think that's it for out here? I think so. Let's move inside. In here, we need new lighting. And we want bendy ones, like the newer, at least like the newer Benetos have. Wiggly nice worm reading lights. Nice light. worm yeah. lights. Worm. <laughs> we want to add some 12 volt USB outlets. Yep. Probably maybe in the shelves. Yeah. I have a thing about cords. We don't need to get into it, but it'll probably come up a lot because it's a big thing in my life. Cords stress me out for some reason. Anything that we can do to add places where we can plug things in without having cords where you can see them. That's what, that's what I need in my life. Like, like cord cubbies where you pull it out. Okay, moving the, on. Okay. I want to replace this headboard. This is me being an artist and wanting to design a space. Very much on the want list. And while we're talking about want lists, for the entire bow, I want to refinish all of the wood a different color. Chime in because it's a veneer. We've been really trying to figure it out. I don't know I'm trying possible. to figure out if there's a possible way to refinish the veneer. Have a girl. We were trying to think of like our identity as a channel and it was a grinder. So I was trying to think, how can we integrate a grinder into sailing? And I was thinking maybe we can like gear it, reduction it, so that we can use it as an electric winch. We just want to make sure that as, stay we, true. as we transition and become a sailing channel in a lot of months from now, when we're finally done with all the projects, that, you know, you'll you'll still know who we are. They'll be able to recognize us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moving into the main saloon, we're gonna start bottom up the bilge. <laughs> the bilge. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ones that are most prevalent to me right now. Our bilge pump, love it, but it has an anti-siphon valve or backflow valve right up there, which means all of this hose right here drains back into the bilge. So even when this runs, it just stays there. That is never, ever, ever going to be dry. I would love to replace all the hoses. That's a want. They don't need to get replaced, but I would like to. I never fared, painted, sanded the battery boxes. We're just gonna knock it out, get it done. That way we can say we're done. And while we're doing that, we wanna do a different kind of paint. We want to basically re-sand and repaint it. The paint that we used worked, or I guess Jade, I didn't do any of it. The paint that Jade used worked great and it was a recommended paint. I think it was like a PPG paint, but it just is not doing that great. In this pocket, I painted it directly onto where I had done the peel ply. On recommendation by professionals, it should have stuck. This pocket looks terrible, so I definitely want to redo it. We're having a lot of staining issues. What well, you can see right there, it's stained paint from some antifreeze, and it's only been a few months. We're gonna try and get our hands on some tile clad, because we've heard that that stuff is like the stuff. While we're talking about the bilge, one of the big things is the batteries. We really, really, really want a better battery bank. I really want lithium. I want uh, lithium iron phosphate. That's what I want. And I want, we want 
not just me, we want to have enough that we can be off grid indefinitely. That includes obviously having the good lithium, but also having solar, wind, hydro, whatever it takes to keep it regenerated. To be able to be off grid for very long extended periods of time, that's when Brett and I find that we're the happiest. 100%. Just like- Unplugged. Yeah. Let's fend for ourselves in nature. Yeah. It's a good time, guys. We do have a really, really good, powerful generator, but we don't want to have to use it. We've ran it a couple of times and it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we hate it. <laughs> when your whole goal is to get out into tropical locations and just Ah, the beach and the ocean. Yeah, having to fire up your what? diesel generator. It kind of ruins the, yep. it ruins the moment. The most apparent problem with our soul boards is that they're ugly. Ah. Just kidding. <laughs> they're super creaky, which is pretty typical. We need to figure that out. That's really, that's a need. We need to make them be a little bit less creaky. We really want to fasten them down and having access holes. You still need to be able to get in there easily and quickly to assess problems well, or so, turn off. So that's actually Seahawks. something I wanted to mention. How they are right now, you can't get into the build easily and no. quickly. Here's the, the finger hole to pick up this panel, but the build trump is in that one. So to get to that one, you actually have to pick up this one, take it all the way out, then get to that one. That just doesn't doesn't compute. Doesn't compute. <laughs> if shit hits the fan, we want to be able to make it better very quickly without a lot of hassle. For yeah. example, getting the bilge pump quickly. We don't yeah. know for sure what we're doing with the soul boards. I am in the camp of wanting to replace them all together. Which I'm not opposed to. It's just an intimidating job. Well, it's intimidating and it's expensive. Yeah. There isn't a single A lot of the boards are 90 rogue. degree cut. Well, no, no, no. Oh, right, right, no, right. No, I, I meant as there's, there's no, doing yeah, there, there's no 90 degree turns and they're all different radiuses and all the corners. And so it's like, it'd be very easy to mess it up. Very and then big project. Very expensive, Very expensive if you mess it up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll see what happens there. Stay tuned. We need to clean up all of the epoxy fingerprints. <laughs> yes. For example. We had a couple places we could step over all of our epoxy work and a couple places we just were like, yeah, we're just going to have to. Yeah. So if you have a recommendation on how to get this off, I tried a razor blade, but I was afraid I was going to be scratching it. I'm so thinking it might it's like, to, like buff it off. polished. Yeah. We might just have to just, buff it. We want to get a water maker. Yeah, that's another thing I'll I think probably go into the build. We actually decided to put that on the need list. Obviously, we have tanks and we could fill up more water, but for us, the objective of this boat is to be off grid. So, for that objective, we need a water maker. Take down, clean, and reattach the headboards. Some of them are just kind of. We just want to make it look better. We had a little bit of an incident. We're going to be replacing some outlets, maybe all of the outlets, rugs. That's a must. We put that on the need list because of the dogs. They just slip around all. Even with their really short nails, they still just slip. We need rugs, but also we need a way to keep the rugs from getting all bunched up in the corner. I'm thinking like heavy duty Velcro. This goes to the next step of, okay, we, if we need to get to the village, we need to be able to get under that rug easily. So yeah, it needs to be able to come up quickly, easily, then get that hatch open, right? So. But then also be secured enough exactly. that it doesn't fall over. Yep, yeah. so. Again, let, let your mind be working on these problems as, as yeah. ours yeah, often do. Yeah, please work out all our problems. Yeah, for appreciate us, that. Guys. Yeah, thanks. We would like to be able to have this be an extra berth. Some boats do have that, that you could just kind of lower it down and then that becomes one huge bed. What we do want to do at least is put in some lee cloths. I'm saying lee cloths are definite. Right. The table is would be nice to have. That'll be part of Jade's sewing adventures. For our non sailing friends and family, will you explain what a lee cloth is? Sure. Basically all it is, is it's kind of like a hammock. You'll sleep right there, but then there'll be a piece of cloth or fabric that is fastened to the bottom and up there's how we'll do it. So then it basically just wraps around you for when the boat is heeled over like this or hitting waves or whatever, you don't just fall out of bed. If you're trying to sleep on the queen size in the front. Yeah, you'll just be like, flop, 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 yeah. flop. <laughs> our refrigeration unit, no, our, our air AC heater unit is right here. We're thinking of taking it and moving it to like right here. And that opens up that section right there to be able to be a big deep freeze. The next thing is that we need to either fix or replace the water heater. Yes, there's a water heater. I think it's a 12 gallon water heater in here. It runs off of either the engine coolant or 120 volt, 110 volt, whatever it is. I think it's 110 volt. We either need to replace the whole thing or replace the heating element or, or get rid of it. And or just get rid of the entire space, thing. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll want a water heater. I mean, if we have it and it works, we might as well have it. Take a hot shower if we ever have to motor. I feel like we can tough out cold showers. I feel like that'd be silly to use up that much electricity. We've taken a lot of cold showers in our life. This is this is where our attitudes come from. Okay, moving on. We'll fix the water here. <laughs> Probably. It's pretty low on the list, but we'll fix it. But we'll fix it. What else we got on here? Redo oh. some of the electrical stuff. 
get rid of the XM radio, replace that radio with something that probably has AAS in at yeah, least. Yeah, that one doesn't work very well. Probably replace that guy because it's just kind of cheap. We want Bluetooth. Those are some needs and wants, but yeah. We have some pretty big plans. And by plans, I mean brainstorming ideas of redesigning this entire section of the boat. We've had these plans since buying the boat, but they are very much still in the drafting stage. Yeah, if we decided to go into like a full on demolition reconstruction, it would be there. We want to replace all the through holes. I already replaced this one and that one. There's a lot of them on this boat. So if we do it, that's going to be a very large project and maybe it's something we do a few at a time over the so years because they're, <laughs> they're they're expensive and they're not going to be easy to do but it is one of those things like okay well for repaint the bilge might as well do it be nice to just do it like while we're in there that's a bigger priority than like upgrading our bluetooth radio because if those go bad we sink if our bluetooth radio goes bad then we don't have music and we go crazy it's true i'm just kidding and then we scully the boat because there's no music we do what scully scuttle Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I've used that word wrong a long time. Okay, the next thing on the list is to fix this. And then over here, we'll probably just have to replace it because our Sharpie blood through. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that's really an unfortunate. Pepperidge happening. Farms remembers. Who remembers? The internet will understand. You want to replace that mirror because it has a crack in it and it's not round. <laughs> Something with this wall to make it prettier. Most of these are jade pretty things. Keep in mind. This is the one. Yeah, this is this is the dream list. This is the dream this is list. The everything, right? I've studied a lot of design elements and color theory, and so if I'm gonna dream, I'm gonna go all out on this boat, and it's gonna be awesome. But also, it's perfectly fine how it is. So we'll see if we change it. If we change it, it's because we have extra time. Something that'd be awesome to do right here would be put in a jade. A bookshelf. <laughs> this is a lot of wasted space. Yeah, yeah. Wasted Book, bookshelf right here. But also what we could do is we could store all like our cameras, lenses and stuff. Ideally, we'd be able to close it. So then My we could close it. My vision is kind of thinking, you know, those bread cabinets that have the slatty. Yeah. Some way to close it and lock it. So when we're away from the boat, nobody can come in and steal our expensive camera gear. Yeah, at least so that it's out of sight. But when it's open, I want it to be like a pretty display. The project I want to do is Better hard drive management. We have two of these massive ones. We have and Betty then, and Sean. Oh yeah, we have Brutus. And Betty. And Betty. And then we have four, um, five, Julian. six, or I seven, like this. four terabyte drives. And it's just kind of a mess. And so I want to put them out of sight and then maybe use like a Raspberry Pi or something like that to have them all integrated so that they can be like just one access point. Raspberry Pi though? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Welcome back to Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is like a tiny little computer that you can then program it to do whatever you want. So we could tell it. Can do the dishes? To yeah, do dishes. <laughs> yep. Okay, this is a problem that we've been trying to figure out a solution to, and we've come up with multiple solutions, and I think this is the best one. Am I explaining it? Yep. Okay, so we have our handrails, and. They only go to right here <laughs> and then they stop, right? And so you go forward in the boat and there is suddenly a lot less to hang on to if you're in rough seas. We're pretty sure that they stop it right here because once you get into this zone, people who aren't super short would hit their head on it, but we're not particularly tall. I'm especially short. Brett's about average height. Yeah. So even me, like where it's the shortest, like there's still what, five or six inches? Yeah, so if you were like six feet tall, six three. It could be a problem, but. But it's not a problem for us. So we are going to extend the handrails all the way forward. Yeah, yeah at least at least to here or so. Maybe all the way, I don't know. I would. All right, someone just started up their diesel engine or if it's a generator or someone just running their engine. I don't know. Yeah. If someone wants a hot shower. <laughs> <laughs> for the dogs. These stairs, this still has blue tape on it. That's awesome. They can get up and down just fine, but for them to get up while there's any sort of motion of the boat, they're, they need something to grip onto. We've talked about putting a lip right here, but I think we may do that as well, but we're definitely going to carpet them with some sort of heavy duty, all weather carpet. It'll be the best thing as far as safety for them coming in and out of the boat. So we'll have to figure out a way to make that not super ugly, but yeah, it's, we're gonna- Yeah, we'll it. figure out. Maybe, maybe what we do is we have it match the rugs. So it's just kind of, Continues. Maybe like a red carpet. No, rug. A red rug? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Moving to our probably most used part of the boat, the galley. We need to finish the counter project. I started the counter project for a couple of reasons. The biggest thing was that it was super stained when we got it. All these stains were here and it's cracked. We're assuming from the grounding. Cracked right there and the fiddles, some of the fiddles were cracked. So I went ahead and I was going forward with my idea for how to redo the counters. I took the fiddles off, we got to this point and then got back to real life and all the projects that were a lot more urgent. Um, so we need to come back to this and we need to finish the counter refurb. What's the plan for the counters? I don't know yet. Okay. I have a lot of ideas. I haven't decided what's the best option. I would really like the fiddles to be the same material as the counter. We would love to get rid of propane. Getting rid of the stove and oven and replacing it with induction. And we recently learned that they make air fryer ovens. Yes, feel free to leave all the comments about how much electricity they use. I'm aware because we actually popped the circuit breaker a couple times air frying on shore power. So yes, I know, but you know, special occasion. Yeah, we it was all, a especially sunny day. We all have some... our simple pleasures. Uh, you want to talk about this? I accidentally left the door to the fridge, the cabinet part of the door to the fridge at Brett's brother's house in Minnesota. So at some point, so at some point we need to Minnesota. go to Minnesota. <laughs> we need to go to Minnesota. We need to get that back. We want to replace this faucet. I want to put in a second faucet that is seawater and even a third faucet potentially probably has a separate tank that's strictly for drinking water. So it's all stuff from the water maker that we make sure. Yeah, straight from the water maker. Or it's easier to monitor to make sure the tank is super clean. We want to add an extra fridge. We'll probably build it ourselves. So oh. wait, we're thinking deep freeze there, possibly another fridge here. It's not a fridge for fridge it's, it's a produce fridge. Keep it slightly cooler because in the tropics it can get really hot in the boat and that'll cause all of our fruit and stuff to ferment. That used to happen to us all the time in Hawaii. So that's something that we've learned from experience from a past life living off the grid. We're not too worried about the electricity consumption because we're just gonna have it slightly cooler. We want to probably replace both the fridge and the freezer that we already have because Apparently they go bad. We're at the end of their usable life. And so it's only a matter of time until, especially the freezer dies on us. We've had enough people reach out and be like, replace it now while you can. Don't wait till you're yeah. somewhere where you can't. So oh yeah. And we even had a couple people ask us like, Hey, does yours work? And we're like, yeah. Like, Oh, well, what did you do to fix it? And we're like, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the previous owner had a microwave right here. We don't have a microwave. We don't plan to have a microwave. So we're thinking of maybe moving this cabinet door to that cabinet and making this be where the dishes go and doing like one of those really cool clear cabinets like people have for their dishes maybe would be a solution. This aft cabin, I'm gonna somehow add a storage area for my painting. So that's an area of my life you guys don't know very much about yet because I haven't been doing it. I paint with oil, that's my medium, and oil paint takes a very long time to dry, which means that I need to figure out a way where I can paint and then keep my paintings from touching anything for long enough that they can dry despite boat movement. So that is something that we're gonna figure out there. Doing it on this side, because that one's gonna be more designated for guests. Cool. cool. And then in the aft, we really don't have anything else other than storage there, maybe a washing machine. I need to sew up some sheets. Yep, sew up some sheets. That's pretty much it. Really not much going on back there. We actually really like the look of our boat once we fix the counters that I destroyed. Oh yeah, we picked this boat because it's beautiful. This is a beautiful it, boat and, and yeah. we're very happy with it how it is. We wanna make it safer for the ocean crossings and better for off-grid. All the aesthetics are secondary. Yeah, we went through a lot of stuff that we would like to do, but honestly, if we don't do 90% of them, that's totally fine. And we're completely content and happy yeah. with what we have. And and caveat, we know that, yes, I pointed a lot of things that don't work, a lot of things we need to fix forever. That's always going to be the case. It's a boat and it's a project and it's always going to be a project. At the end of the day, we're, we're pretty realistic and this is just a fun video talking about all the times. Yeah. And in a few months, when we have done all the projects, maybe we'll look back on the video and laugh. And all the things we're like, we never would have had time for that. All right. Cool. Thanks for joining us on our little boat tour. Uh, sorry we didn't clean our house first, but you know. Yeah. You wanted us to be off under. That's right. <laughs> Tell everybody what we're saying right now. Oh, I was just saying, like, we're probably going to get a lot of, like, comments and stuff saying how, oh, we're land lovers and, oh, you guys need all of the niceties and you don't understand what it's like. And we, we were right. We've never done, like, 30 day crossings or whatever, but. We've already lived in a mud hole with no shower for years to afford this. Like we've already done the off-grid stuff, uh, given it wasn't on the ocean. 
it's right next sand. to it. But we were, we were right <laughs> next to the ocean. We spent a lot of time in the ocean. But we did that. We roughed it. We didn't have a shower. We lived in the mud. We didn't have proper electricity. We tried to catch water, but the bugs. We, anyway, moral of the story, we would like this to be a little bit more comfortable than that. Yeah, but if it doesn't, we'll it's still just, really nice. We'll yeah. just as much fun. Oh, yeah. Totally. I love our boat. Yep. And I love you. Thank you. And I love that we can do projects. Okay, let's get on with our day. Love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. I don't know what we're going to do next week, but we'll see you there. See you there. Yeah, maybe we need to start a t-shirt line of like, just keep grinding. Grinder. No, I think that one's taken. <laughs>